Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a cute little Valentine treat box. But this box, y'all, I can see it for all different occasions. I can see this in Daffodil Delight with lemons on it. But it just is sending you a big squeeze. But I thought it'd be really cute for these little Russell Stover's bars that I found at my Tom Thumb store but I'm telling you anywhere that they sell Russell Stover's you're gonna find them and I think I've even seen these at Christmas time and maybe even at Valentine's at the Dollar Tree they do carry these so be on the lookout for them because they're super cute and I actually tried to use the same colors that were in here because I'm going to show you the inside here really quick and I put a little heart right there and you can see the Happy Valentine's shows through there. But that is what I'm sharing. I love this little box. I think it's so cute for like a treat and it'd be even cute for like the teenage age. And these would be great for coworkers and everything too. So let's go ahead and get started with it. So we're gonna go ahead and stamp first. So I'm gonna use my Stamparatus here because I have my plates all ready to go because I already lined them all up. And you know how I love this Stamparatus. I use it so much more than I even show because yeah, it's a really, really good tool. If you're a beginner, this is a must have for you. So, I'm going to go ahead and the colors that I'm using today, I am using Memento Black, but I'm also using Blushing Bride, Soft Suede, and Cherry Cobbler. So those are my colors for today. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the Soft Suede on the outside part of this. You can do it either way, but I just like doing it this way first. And ooh, I got my that in the way. And then I'm using my little tool. I love this tool, y'all. It has saved my hands so much. And it's listed in the description below if you are interested in that. So there's that. So we are going to next use the Blushing Bride. And I'm holding my hand under this, but I really do like using one of my stamp cases under it. It really helps to keep it stable. But... We're going to do it this way. And it, it makes it really nice and dark when you get could press on that really good. All right, so there's that. I'm going to move this out of the way here a minute. And then we're going to stamp our flowers. And I'm going to use Memento Black for that. And I'm going to color them in with my Stampin' Blends. I'm going to put that off to the side. Let me see. I have to run this through the cut and emboss, so I want to make sure I have room for this here. All right. And we're going to use our blends, just the light and dark um, blends of the Cherry Cobbler. So I'm going to do the light first. And I'm doing super simple coloring, y'all. And I did forget to stamp the center, but we'll do that in here in a minute. All right, and then I'm going to just use a little bit dark just to shade it a little bit. My hands are frozen, y'all. It's really cold here in Texas today. It was below freezing, so we had 85 like a couple weeks ago, and now it's like 35. So I'm going to stamp these two. These are for the two little ones. And then, whoops, I'm going to do the big one right here. And I do need to run them through the cut and emboss. And so we are going to go ahead and run those through. I'll have to bring it back again to do the heart that's on the inside of the box. 
And I already pre-cut some of the other things. So I'm going to go ahead and take that and run it through my cut and emboss and I'll be right back. Okay, so the ones we're using is that big one and then we're going to use this one and then our three little flowers here. All right, let's go ahead and get going on the box. And for the box, you're going to need a piece that is eight and a quarter by nine and a quarter. We are going to score this. And on the eight and a quarter inch side, you're going to score it at one half, at one, seven and a quarter, and seven and three quarters. And then you're going to turn it, and you're going to score it at two and three quarters, three and a quarter, six, and six and a half. And that's all of our scoring. All right, so I didn't tell you what I was using for this. So I'm using the Sweet Citrus Bundle. So it's the dies and the stamp set. And I'm using these deckled rectangles, and that is going to be for the sentiment. And then for the hearts, I am using the Give It a Whirl dies again. I love these dies. There's so much more for than for just making a little spinner card. All right, so we are going to start here on this top side. And we're going to, well, let's do it on the sides first. We're just going to cut in here. Actually, on the top, I'm going to use my big scissors here. We are going to cut all the way down here. And then all the way down on this one. And then you're going to cut on the sides here. And here. And I am going to cut this piece right here off. So now I forgot to do that. This middle piece and the top piece of this one. And then you can cut into this one here. And we're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to cut this one off here. this top off here and then cut into these. Okay, so let's move these all out of the way. And what we're going to do now is sharpen our score marks. All right, so this is folding up. This bottom part is going to fold up like that. That's how it's going to seal. And we're going to go ahead and mat this first. And I'm going to use the Blushing Bride. I'm actually using our 6x6 Designer Series paper. I'm using the Settles and the Regals. These are our regular Designer Series paper. It comes in 6x6 pack. And it's in all our color families. So we're going to mat that first. Just remember to mat the right area. So it's that right there. And then we're gonna let's go ahead and mat our top piece. And this is our top. So we might as well mat that while we got it here. Just using my regular seal on this. I love cherry cobbler. It's one of my favorite colors and I didn't use it at Christmas time that much. So I don't know why, but it's one of my favorite. So what I did here is I just pulled this up, but I already measured it out at three and one eighths from the, the side here. So three and one eighth. And I'm using a little pencil here just to mark three and eight, whoops, okay, three and one eighth from the end. I'm gonna mark it right here. But what I wanna do is make sure that my heart, if you just look inside here, 
you can see the heart and it's going to be a little bit down further so I'm going to just mark that and let me tell you how far up that is I'm going to make sure I got it about right so I'm just looking to see where the center of that heart is and it is about one and an eighth inch from the bottom three and an eighth and one and an eighth and then you'll have a center point alright so I'm going to take that out we're going to set our heart and this is from give it a whirl die as well and I'm just going to center that dot right in the middle of that heart and I'm going to get my and I should come out pretty close to where that heart is on there so I'm going to make it right about center use some of my tape I'm going to run this through the cut and emboss and be right back with that okay so I have that there and I want to tell you too when you run this through the cut and emboss you need to tuck all these pieces side pieces in or it won't run through so there's our heart let's go ahead and seal this up on this single piece here you're going to use some tear and tape or some of your stamp and seal plus and I should have used my tear and tape because that's what I used on my other one and I like the tear and tape better all right we're we're going to line this up to the edge make sure you got it to the edge there and then we're going to do this one too. And I'm going to get my bone folder and I'm going to go in the inside and make sure those are sealed nice. So they're sealed really good down. We'll take our candy bar and let's see how we did on that. Oh, look at that. Just about perfect, y'all. See? So, one and one eighth and then three and one eighth, put a dot there, and then you can use your heart die to cut, cut it out. All right, so now I am going to go ahead and we're gonna stamp our sentiment here, sending you a big squeeze, and I'm gonna use Memento Black. You can use the Memento Black or you can use the um, Soft Suede. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Sending you a big squeeze. I thought that was so cute. I'm going to do it a little bit to the left so that it doesn't cover up our lemon, well, our grapefruit this time. All right. Now I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of this and we're going to pop it up. And I'm leaving a space for the ribbon to go through. All right, so this is going to go on the front here. I'm going to grab the ribbon here, and I'm using our my favorite. I need to order some more. I'm almost to the end. And I'm going to slide that under there. And this is going to go around here, and we're going to tie a bow. This way it'll keep it down for the rest of this. I guess I better cut this. I'm trying to get it centered here. Not that it doesn't really matter that much, but... Okay, we're going to cut that. And then we're going to put on our grapefruit here. This time they're grapefruit. I did a, I think it was a card. I can't remember now what it was that I did using this. I love this stamp set. And I did use lemons. I'll try to find it and link it in this video. Alright, so we're going to put this one down first. And we're using dimensionals on all of these. And I'll put the 
this one here. And then we're going to put on our little flowers. We're just going to glue on our little flowers. Um, I guess I'll use my wet glue for that. Let's see if I can get any out. I need to refill it. It's getting very low. I'm going to put one there. I think I only used two. I didn't use all three of them. Put that one there and our little hearts and these are the little hearts from the give it a whirl as well so this is the ones and they're stitched so i really love those and we're just going to glue these on too put one there i just made it a little bit more valentine-y one there and then we're going to do one down here Isn't that cute? I love this stamp set. It's just so adorable. And then I went ahead and I took some of these pastel adhesive back sequins and I just add a, added a center um, to the flower. So really we didn't have to stamp the center. And I used the pink ones for this one, which this is Blushing Bride that I used on this one here. So that's it, everyone. That easy. Look at how cute they are. Wouldn't they be cute for like a co-worker or something like that? I, th I can see them for just about anything. Here's our other flower. I could put one on there. But no, I'm going to leave it just like it is. I always get that way. I'll start adding and no, I don't want to add. <laughs> All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you need any products, you can shop on my blog at stampingwiththemore.com. For those of you who are new, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Here's my January host code. I appreciate it if you would use it. All right, everyone. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.